Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today in this video guys, I am going to tell you how to install this AKK VTX with DVR onto this Cinebook drone frame and connect it to my Speedy B F7 mini flight controller guys. I have already done the in-depth review of this AKK VTX and this flight controller guys. If you have not seen that video guys, I will put the link of the video above or in the description below for you guys to check it out. So guys, if you are new to assembling drone, ensure that you watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any important information or instructions that I have to share. Before we move further guys if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for my new videos let's get started so guys before we can start installing this vtx onto this drone frame and connect it to this flight controller let me walk you through on how do i plan to connect this and place this vtx onto this cinevo drone frame guys in my previous videos guys i have already told you how to connect the motors and connect it to the esc and place the flight controller guys if you have not seen that video guys i will put the link of the video above or in the description below for you guys to check it out as you can see guys onto this vtx there are few wires which are coming out so the first wire guys is your 5 volt and ground so as to be able to power your vtx and the next two black and red is to power your camera this is a 5 volt onboard regulator guys which is present on this vtx so as to be able to power your camera if required using this 5 volt and ground and then guys you have yellow and green wire guys yellow wire is for video input and the green wire is for smart audio guys that is how guys uh, this vtx is being configured as you know guys this comes with an inbuilt dvr guys it has two buttons on the side one to start and stop the dvr for onboard digital video recording and another one is to change the channel and the band on which this vtx is transmitting on to the side guys here you can see there are few leds that will give you the status of the power and also guys it will tell you on which band and channel this vtx is broadcasting so this is a high level overview guys of this vtx on to the flight controller guys as you can see here there are few pads on to the top guys so as to be able to connect the vtx so here you can see guys here you have 9 volt 5 volt and ground so you have an option to power your vtx using 9 volt or 5 volt i will be powering using 9 volt guys which is preferable to power your vtx normally with the higher voltage so 9 volt and ground to power this up and then guys there is a vtx this is your video output terminal guys which will go on to the video input signal guys and then guys there is a t3 pad guys here for the smart audio which i will connect it to the green wire guys so that is how guys i am going to connect the vtx onto this flight controller guys and guys to place your vtx onto the drone frame here you can see it has a 20 mm stack as i have told you before in my review video this is also a 20 mm stack guys so this will perfectly fit here guys but as you can see guys here you have a place to install the antenna guys so as you know guys this comes with an antenna extender guys so as to be able to connect the video transmitter 5.8 gigahertz antenna guys so this will go like this onto the vtx guys and then you can connect your antenna here guys as you can see here you have an antenna holder to place the antenna so guys whenever you install your vtx like this so as to be able to have your antenna coming out from the back side guys there is no space or hole because this antenna extender guys is not that flexible so as to be able to mold this as easily as possible guys so what i will do is i will make a hole in this plastic guys so that my wire comes out at the same time guys here you can see here you have some of the elevation guys which will also not let this vtx to sit properly onto the top of this stack guys so i will possibly cut this from the side guys so that this vtx is horizontal and can be properly placed here onto the top side of the flight controller guys so that is how guys i am going to connect and install the vtx onto this cinevo drone frame guys let's quickly do that so guys here you can see this is the flight controller that i have guys and i have already tinned all the ports guys here so as to be able to solder it properly guys and then guys since you can see here on to the vtx guys the wires are really thick guys so i am planning to replace these wires with the thinner wire guys because this is a cinevope guys so it does not have enough space to accommodate for that thick wire guys so i will replace it with the 
thinner wire so here you can see guys it has a similar configuration black and red is going to be for power and then yellow for video and white for your smart audio so that is how guys i'm going to connect these wires let's quickly solder them so here you can see guys i have 5 volt i have ground then i have vtx and then smart audio so that is how i'm going to connect let's quickly solder them first is red wire guys so here guys my 9 volt is connected i will connect the ground so my ground is connected as well then is your video which is your yellow so my video is connected and the last one is your smart audio guys so that is what we are going to connect so this is my smart audio so here you can see guys all four of my wires are now connected let's quickly connect the second side onto the vtx so guys this is the vtx as you can see i have already desoldered the wires which were existing onto the vtx guys and i have also installed the anti-vibration pad onto this vtx so as to be able to install it onto the stack guys so now let's quickly solder the wires which are coming out of the flight controller guys so first one is your red wire for power let's connect that so the red is connected let's do the same for the black which is your ground connect it to the ground here guys so the ground is connected and then you have video input which is yellow So my video input is connected and the last one is your smart audio guys. So as you can see guys all the four wires are now connected. I am not using the 5 volt and ground guys which is possibly used to power your camera guys. I will be powering directly from the flight controller guys. So in my future videos guys I will also show you how to connect the camera onto the flight controller guys so ensure that you stay tuned to my channel. So guys now that we have already soldered the wire let's quickly install it onto the drone frame guys here you can see guys this is the JST which will connect onto the flight controller guys and at the same time guys as you can see from the sides I have already cut down the part guys so as to be able to install the VTX properly onto this place guys and onto the back side guys I have also put a hole so as to be able to install the antenna wire from the back side guys so that your antenna gets connected onto the vtx from here guys so that is how we are going to install let's quickly do that so let's first connect the jst onto the flight controller guys as you can see guys my jst is now connected let's push in the flight controller inside guys so that it stays at its place same as before and on top of it guys there will be a VTX installed exactly like this So here you can see guys my VTX is on top of the flight controller guys so that is how I want it. So these are M.2 screws guys that will hold the stack onto its place so that we will push it from the top so that it stays at its place and do not move. And 
and the last one so as you can see guys these are perfectly aligned like this on to the top so that is how i want it later guys i will tighten them up using the nuts but for now let's quickly install the antenna from the back so that is how we want it so as you can see guys my antenna connector is also connected on to the vtx and we will install the antenna later on to the top when we finish the build so this is it guys this is how we wanted to install the vtx onto the drone frame and connect it to the flight controller this is the top cover guys which will go on to the top and sit like this and at the same time guys here you can see the sd card slot is now accessible from the side which is also something really nice so that in future if you want to remove the sd card guys you will not have to uninstall or unassemble the whole drone guys just to access the sd card at the same time guys here on to the top guys everything looks clean and nice so which is also something really nice guys so here you can see guys i have successfully installed the vtx onto the drone frame so this concludes this video guys in my future videos guys i will also tell you how to configure this vtx into the firmware of the flight controller how to program the flight controller how to connect the camera onto this drone frame guys and connect it to the flight controller so ensure that guys you stay tuned to my channel so that you do not miss out on those future videos so this is it guys this concludes this video i hope you guys like this video if you guys like this video please do not forget to hit that like button if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section below i will try and answer as soon as possible if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for my new videos thank you guys thanks for watching and clear skies